guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the finale of Zoku Owari Managatari. Literally, honestly, thinking about this whole show in its entirety, it, it feels so weird to be like, I'm done with this show. It's the last two videos that I'm doing for this show until we get some news that maybe the rest of the series might be animated. But like, as of right now, these are the last two videos that I'm doing for this show, and... I mean, I'm, I'm, I have mixed feelings. I'm happy at the same time, but I'm also sad because I'm like, damn, we're at the end. And it's like, how the fuck do I feel right now about this? And it's just like, if you would have told me, because when the person who asked me to do the show on Patreon, as I said, I think I said this also last week, I don't really remember. They told me to just do it as much as I wanted to. I could have stopped maybe like after... The first season and a couple of um a couple of other episodes, but I was like, I really like this show. I want to know more about it. I have a lot of questions, and, and of course, and I was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna continue it no matter what. I was like, typically with Patreon shows, no matter what, depending on what they are, I will do the show from beginning to end unless it bores me, and I kind of have to tell them like I didn't really like this show as much. We haven't really gotten to that, and I hope we don't get that to, to that situation one day where I get a show and I'm like a couple episodes in and I'm. I'm like I didn't like it but I mean yeah I mean I'm just I'm sad and I really don't want this show to end and I hate the fact that these are the last two fucking episodes and I'm we're possibly never gonna see these characters again which fucking sucks until that you know that collaboration you know comes to Magica Magica Ian and also because of the fact is 27 is also getting a collab with the show and that's coming out tomorrow and I'm super duper excited for it even though I have no fucking gems and I should shave my fucking dance unless I do something really, really stupid and I could do it if I want to, but I don't know. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode five and three, two, one, go. Just, oh, like the biggest, still the biggest fucking shocker was Guy in last week. And I feel like because of the fact that these are the last two fucking episodes ever, like you have to go all out for this. This is the last two fucking episodes. Nobody, I mean, with this show, they go all out no matter what. And that's what I love about it. But still, I want it to be good. I, I mean, I wanted to leave, I want to leave this show on a happy ending to where I still don't have to worry about it, but I still want to secretly know what the fuck is going to happen next. But it's okay, though. But so. I'm glad I left this for the last thing that I have to do because I really didn't want it to be the first thing I had to do today because I was like, let me do something else. I was like, I really want to watch this last because, oof, I've been wanting to do this ever since I watched the previous two episodes. <laughs> oh, it's a good thing to have it on a Sunday when you're just like, hmm, got to do some shit and get it done, you know? Okay, and okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, but here she's alive. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> Honestly, you're right about that. Mm-hmm. 
I mean, hell, there's a lot of people who are like that, though. Okay. Okay, I get that. Don't make any. So what else can he do? Don't be a pussy. I mean, you're here. You might as well just go ahead and tell everything. Could be a long ass story in the bathtub. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was that obvious. Come here, baby. 
baby. No, I'm on my thigh. My thigh. Come here. Come here. Good boy. No, no. It's true. That or you just take a picture. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah. So then there's Company who also has kids, her kids will have to face it and so on and so forth. I mean, because remember, what's her face also had a part of it, which was, I mean, <laughs> that's a whole another story. Yeah, I know what I'm putting that up. Okay. Every child, not every child, every parent would tell their child or need to tell their child. Hey, that's girl. <laughs> Why do you think it would be a trap? I mean, you can take it as a grain of salt, but I feel like I am just selling the truth no matter really, really, really we're <laughs> really <laughs> I feel like I am just telling the truth because why would I am lie? lie? She's not Kaiki, I'm just saying. Yeah, it's gone. <laughs> I mean, your back muscles are fine, but like, they're not no Levi's, I'm just saying. <laughs> no. Really? Really? <laughs> really? 
think you would say that. That's worse than light saying that the freaking owl. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no no, are you sure about that? I mean splitting up usually isn't really good. I have a bad feeling about this. Like, nothing good comes from splitting up. I'm just saying. You ain't watch fucking Scooby-Doo, Scary Movie 2, anything else where a group of people have... Well, this ain't really a group. This is just two fucking people, but still. Yeah, please don't try to kill yourself when you're there. Just get in, get out. Get your shit and go. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, because I mean, if Agaragi goes, I mean... <laughs> Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean... What's wrong with my crime? Oh, what's this actually doing for me? And you're gonna. Mm. So then you're telling me when he okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah, it is. I mean, you know what? But it's okay. Uh, yeah, but it's okay. See, okay, this is what I feel like was going to happen. Because of the fact that he is now wearing Oshino's clothes, by the time he gets there, we're still going to see him as Agaragi, of course. But talking-wise, there's going to be a point where someone's going to walk past him and it's going to show her. Maybe. Who knows? We only have six minutes of this show left.
You have to be. God, all that white, and I feel like her hands are shit. You know how, like, when you go into a weird, like, a pure white room, and then you come out and you feel like you're blind as fuck? Really? All three of you? Oh, let me go. How the hell do I get her back to normal? Fucking singer direction. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, damn, like, how the hell can y'all three be drinking at a time like this? I can't with child honey. Oh my junk. Oh my god. It's cute, but like oh <laughs> Hey, Cody. Besides, your partner has to be here somewhere.
And there she is. It has to be the room. It, it, it has to be. Ah, you would end like that, you fucking son of a bitch. Like, oh, what the fuck is wrong with you? You get it. I mean, I knew we were close to the end of the episode, but still, are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. I hate the fuck that we have more episode left. I mean, honestly, why can't y'all just have something else in the series? Like, why couldn't they have gone ahead and animated this while I was watching this series? I mean, yeah, I probably would have gotten spoiled on some ish because knowing some people, they probably would have sent me some shit on Twitter and I would have been like, you can't show me stuff. I have, you gotta wait until we get there to show me whatever the fuck you want to show me. But, you know, people are people and they're gonna be like, fuck it. Like, here you go. Here's some fucking spoilers. Like, you are such an ass. Like, oh my God, I didn't want to be spoiled today. But okay, this is like, this is their final conversation that they're gonna have in this next episode. And I'm not physically ready for this. Like, honestly, man. Oh, I don't want this to end. I don't even want to watch the next episode. I just want to go ahead and just give you guys this episode and just be like, see you guys next week for the final, actual final episode. I really don't. I really don't want to watch it, but I have to because I, I have so many questions and I want to know how this hell is going to end, if Agaragi is officially going to be back in his world and not the mirror world, and, you know, they're going to switch places. I don't know. There's so many unanswered questions. Like, holy fucking shit. Like, oh, I hate this, but, like, oh, this was such a good episode, and, like, it is wrapping up everything that I need to know, but, like, at the same time, it's just, like, still, when I get to this last episode, it's still going to leave me with so many unanswered questions, just like every other series before this, sh like, show, before we got to the end. It always leaves me with more questions than answers, and then 50 out of 50, maybe I get those questions and answered or I never will like unless I read the series but I don't know I mean I like I said I really don't want to watch this next episode honestly but I gotta I just I want to know I mean and if I don't watch it it's just gonna eat me inside it's gonna eat away at me until I'm but like okay let's just go ahead and do it but yeah go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for the final episode okay final episode in three two one go this last episode is 32 fucking minutes. Oh my god. This must be a lot of fucking information for 32 minutes. They might just talk for 32 fucking minutes. Oh my god. I'm scared. Oh. I'm scared and I'm hungry and I can't eat until after I finish this. Well, you're just early. Okay, never mind. you're really early. Of course it would be this room. There, yeah. Where you had your story with her.
Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, yeah, but it was we all kind of knew that. I knew that. Thank God. So, But then what? <laughs> There's no way in hell it was all a trick. If it was, I swear to fucking God. Mm -hmm. I swear to fucking Are you fucking serious Oh my god Do not play with my heart like that I swear to god <laughs> It can't be There's no way in hell That it was a whole dream If it was He would have been It would have been a whole year of him sleeping Yeah. So there's no way in hell it can be.
nothing. Before I went to bed. No, which is pushing away. Yeah. Seen about?
<clears throat> so then there's gotta be a way to get it set back still though. How the hell you, how the hell are you gonna do that? I have no fucking idea. <laughs> Mm. But it can be fixed. It has to be. Mm. So it's not that bad. It's bad, but you know, it could get worse. You never know. And then everything should go back to normal. Mm. Of course. So she already knows everything about this shit. Okay, then what can you do? Mm, nice punch.
Mm-hmm. Yeah. But then, okay, Hannah, wait, 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 okay, here's my thing. After everything of this is done and we move on from this, what the hell is going to happen? No. <laughs> Where the hell is she going to go? I mean, is she still going to be in town? or She'll disappear forever. She'll be with her uncle. Hmm? Girl, what the fuck? You would bring the darkness here! What the fuck is wrong with you? Okay. And then she goes, just like that. Just like that. Are you fucking serious? Everything kind of back to normal now. I know, finally! Oh my god!
Well, girl, you was the only one who wasn't fucking there. And I mean, I kept asking that for like how long? Yeah. You might never remember them. I think everybody did that as a kid. <laughs> Yeah, you just jump.
，那对哈。Damn! Oh my god! I mean, but that was really good. I am so fucking happy it ended on the couple because of if they did to, because it was so weird for the first five episodes, and then the thirty something minutes of six. Like it's just like okay, we're seeing everybody, and I'm like okay, but hold on, what about the big elephant in the room? Where the fuck is Sandrahata? Like. She should be here, and then finally you don't show her, but then you show her in the last few minutes. Like, oh, that was so good. So okay, final thoughts on this whole entire series. I loved it for what it was. I like it's up there for like all the different series that I've seen that's very similar to it. How do he fucking um, Bunny Girl Senpai, the uh, teenage uh, snafu show, and a whole bunch of others that I've seen that are very similar to it. I loved it. It left me with a lot of mystery and anything else, a lot of questions and everything. And I'm really glad that I was able to enjoy this and watch it. And honestly, I, like I said, if I had to do this by one episode pure per week, we would have been here probably for two years. And I'm glad that I was able to finish it in a year. But still, I am sad because this is it. We don't know if anything else is gonna get animated, which fucking sucks. And I would like to know what the hell is gonna happen next. I'm still happy as fuck because seriously, if they would have ended this show with no Sanjata, I would have been hella pissed. I would have been like, who the fuck ends the show without the best girl having the last few moments or something? I mean, because like you went in inside like five whole fucking episodes without her, like nowhere, and then just the last few moments of it. I mean, seriously, this was like their third date in a way of them just walking around and just talking and him just saying everything that he needed to say any questions that i had while watching like the first few minutes of this all got answered right then and there and i'm just like yes oh my god but still in my heart the second date that they had was the best fucking date i mean yes date number one that's like the best thing that i want to fucking do but date number two was like literally in my mind the number one thing that i want to do when i go on a date with a guy because uh, it's just okay <laughs> I just want to go to Japan and just go on a date with a funky guy and go to the places that they went to. I mean, there is one place in Japan that I really, really, really want to go with a guy. And one day, hopefully, I pray that I'm able to go and just, whether it's a date or I'm with my prom, my mom or a friend, whoever, and we just go, I don't care. I'll have a freaking awesome time, but like, this show was just so fucking good. The characters made it even better. The stories were interesting as fuck. I don't think there was any really... Any story that I, like, despised. I loved everything, you know, no matter what. Like, honestly. I don't even think I even have a least favorite story. I don't even think I have a... Do I have a least favorite character? No? Because I, I liked everybody. Even though Kaiki got on my nerves sometimes. I still liked him for who and what he was as a character. But yeah, I don't think there was anybody I disliked. I mean, I still think my least favorite scene is possibly the toothbrush scene because that was just... Something that I really didn't want to see, but I was like, I know it's coming because I think the way before I had watched this show, way, way, way before somebody asked me on Patreon, I did... I heard about the toothbrush train and I was like, oh, okay. And then I, it just like left my mind. And then when some, when the person asked me to watch Monogatari and when I saw, I think like when we were getting closer and closer to it, that's when I was like, oh my God, like this is the fucking show with the fucking toothbrush scene that everybody has been talking to me about, or I've seen on Twitter or fucking YouTube or anywhere I go, I see this fucking toothbrush scene. And I was like, I'm now finally going to see it. And I like, I mean, that was like one of the most awkward days of my life. <laughs> um, I mean, it would have been also nice to see Shinobu, like our, our baby Shinobu in the final few moments of this episode. But because of the fact is at the end of the day, Day. it started with these two with Sanjohara and Nagaragi and it ends with these two I mean it's a really nice turnaround because I mean even though in, a, in, in the end really if you honestly think about it it started with Agaragi, Hanakawa and Shinobu it would have been nice to have those three come together as a turnaround for that but I get the fact is because 
in the first episode, you meet Sindrahada first. And so you're just like, oh, okay, let's end it with these two. Which was really nice. I mean, overall, they're like the best couple in this damn show. I mean, even though, yes, I ship him with, like, fucking Hanakawa also. But still, like, Sindrahada is the one who deserves him the most. Like, she's best girl. She's fucking everything. She's fucking queen. And that's it at the end of the day. I mean, and still, as much as I love Hanakawa and everything about her and how I sympathize with her and everything and shit like that. Hell, I sympathize with all these damn fucking characters, but at the end of the day, best girl vlog is the best way. That's it. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards the entire series of the Monogatari series. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially on next Friday for Patreons and next Monday for videos for the start of my next Patreon series. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!